हां जी एंड वेलकम बैक आई होप यू ऑल आर ग्रेट वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ टेडी ग्राफिक्स ये एक नया मैं सेगमेंट शुरू कर रहा हूं जिसके ऊपर मैं जो भी पाकिस्तान के हीरोज और लेजेंड्स हैं शुरू में तो पाकिस्तान से सेंट्रिक होगा उसके बाद इंशाल्लाह हम बाहर भी बाहर के लोगों को भी करेंगे कवर लेकिन बेसिकली जो हमारे हीरोज हैं मैं उन्हें अप्रिशिएट करने के लिए बता बना रहा हूं जिनकी बायोग्राफी और उनकी स्टोरी मैं शेयर करना चाहता हूँ आप लोगों से कुछ लोगों की ऑब्वियसली आप लोगों को पता भी होगी कुछ लोगों की नहीं पता होगी लेकिन आई होप यू ऑल लाइक दिस सीरीज एंड इफ़ यू डू लाइक इट प्लीज़ क्लिक ऑन दैट लाइक बटन और जो जो चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर चुका है थैंक यू सो much or jo naye viewers hain i'll request you to slap on that subscribe button as well aur uske sath sath do not forget to click on the bell icon kyunki usse aap updated rahenge teddy ke content ke sath chale ab shuru karte hain sabse pehla jo hamara hero hai jo ki mere lihaz se is the greatest athlete to ever step foot in this world jahangir khan ke upar i'm going to share the story of jahangir khan so let's hit the intro Jahangir Khan was born on 10 December 1963 in Karachi. Originally Jahangir and his family originate from a village near Peshawar named Nawakile Swabi. He currently resides in Karachi with his wife and their two children. Jahangir was initially coached by his father Roshan Khan who himself was a squash player and was the 1957 British Open winner. Later on after his father's demise he was coached by his brother Torsam Khan. Jahangir was physically very weak as a child. His doctors advised him not to take part in any physical activities, but after going multiple hernia operations, his father let him try out the family game. In 1979, Pakistan squash selectors decided not to select Jahangir in the World Championships in Australia, judging him too weak after his recent illness. Jahangir instead decided to enter the World Amateur Squash Championships. and at the age of 15 was crowned the youngest ever winner of that event in november 1979 jahangir's coach and his brother torsam khan suddenly died of a heart attack in a tournament match in australia this hugely affected jahangir and he considered quitting the game but later on decided to pursue the sport as a tribute to his late brother after his brother's sudden death he was coached by his cousin rehmat khan who coached jahangir through most of his career Jahangir Khan revealed that he never had a set training regime nor did he have a specific diet formulated for him. For his training he would often start off with a 14 km jog. After that he did some light weight training in the gym and finally cooled down in the pools. He would follow this routine 5 days a week and on the 6th day he would match practice and rest on the 7th day. Jahangir Khan also revealed that he had experience running on every type of tracks. from custom built tracks to asphalt roads to sea shores to knee deep waters all in all this made jangir physically and mentally one of the most fittest athletes in the world in 1981 at the age of 17 jangir became the youngest ever winner of world open after beating australia's jeff hunt who was one of the most dominant player during that era The tournament marked an unbelievable unbeaten run of 555 consecutive matches. Imagine that 555 matches without losing. This is the longest unbeaten streak in the history of professional sports. The hallmark of his game was his incredible training and fitness regime. He would wear down his opponents with long rallies played at a furious pace. In 1981 Jahangir astonished the world by winning the International Squash Players Association Championship without losing a single point. Matlab ki puri apni championship run mein ek point bhi nahi hara. Matlab how do you explain that? The unbeaten run finally came to an end in 1986 in the final of the World Open when he was finally beaten by New Zealand's Ross Norman. Norman had been in pursuit of Jangir's unbeaten run for 5 years. He said that someday someday Jangir will be slightly off his game and I will get him. 
and he got it. Jangir said it wasn't his plan to create such a record, but he put in the hard work in each match and his wins turned into weeks, into months, then finally into years until he was beaten by Ross Norman in 1986 in Toulouse, France. He said the pressure started to build up as everyone was anxious to see if Jangir would ever lose another match. He was unbeaten for exactly 5 years and 8 months. And after that loss to Ross Norman, he again went on an unbeaten streak for 9 months. With his dominance secured in the softball version of the game, he went to North America to try his hand in the hardball version of the game. The hardball version of the game was played in North America where the courts were smaller and the ball was quicker. All in all, he played 13 hardball tournaments and won 12 of them. He played the leading American player in the circuit, Mark Talbot, 11 times and won 10 of them. The popularity of the softball game rose in North America in the late 1980s because of Jahangir Khan's dominance in the hardball game and that led to the demise of the hardball game in North America. At the end of 1986, another Pakistani squash player rose onto the scene, Jan Sher Khan. And Jan Sher Khan versus Jahangir Khan was a rivalry that all wanted to witness. Jangir Khan won the first few encounters in late 1986 and early 1987. But Jansher scored his first victory over Jangir in September 1987 in Hong Kong Open. After that, Jansher consecutively defeated Jangir for 8 games. At the end of their careers, they played a total of 37 matches against each other. Jansher won 19 of them and Jangir won 18 of them. Jangir retired as a player in 1993 after helping Pakistan win World Team Championships in Karachi. The government of Pakistan awarded Jangir Khan with pride of performance and Hilalai Imtiaz for his achievements in squash. Times Magazine has named Jangir Khan as one of Asia's heroes in the last 60 years. He was conferred with a Doctorate of Philosophy by London Metropolitan University for his contributions to the sport. Due to his immense and absolute dominance in squash, he was nicknamed the Conqueror. So this was Jangir Khan's biography, what an absolute legend. Umeed hai aap logo ko ye video pasand aayi hogi. Agar pasand aayi hai to like button pe click kare, subscribe button pe click kare, aur bell icon pe bhi click kare, taakhe aap updated rate ready ke content ke saath. Hopefully I'll see you in another video or ऐसी तरह के और heroes को मैं के ऊपर biography बनाऊँगा. I'll see you next time. Until then, Allah Hafiz.